y'all caught me. I was practicing for my new rock and roll album. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna have no rock and roll album. But, um, well, I got your attention, I might as well talk to you, right? Um, this morning I heard an interview that Rick Ross called in and had an interview, you know? But what was interesting is she asked him, like, where this shit came from or, like, what he said. We got Rick Ross on the line. What's up, Ross? What's up, man? She came out of the clear blue sky to me. I didn't know what the fuck the nigga was talking about when I heard it. And then what he said was so whack that I didn't even know if the nigga was meant it or he was like, you know what I mean? Some sideways shit. So anyway, she asked him where it came from. And he said he, from the BT Awards. Now, I ain't never had a conversation with these niggas. I don't know these niggas. I know your name. I seen your video. Other than that, we ain't got no business together. We ain't got no reason to even be talking to each other, right? So niggas think that it's an opportunity to create energy or, or like a, a excitement for the actual release of their record. And I understand that it may be more attention than you usually get, but it'll be the kind of attention that when it goes away, you go away completely. Like there's nothing else left for your ass. You complete it. Done. You know, and your company, the system might actually feel like it's a good idea for the moment until they realize that I won't stop. <laughs> There's nobody in control of me. Like, I do what I want to do. So, I'm deciding to fuck your life up. Rick, bro, I'm going to fuck your life up. For fun. This a few times. I'm, I, this is not new. I do this all the time. Like, I had a list of niggas that fucked up. I'm gonna fuck your shit up. You know what I mean? Cause I, I know I can already see from here, from where I'm at, that this nigga's a total fraud. Like you know what I mean? Like it's not even no uh, issue. But I paid for the transcripts to your court case, just in case. I really didn't want to know the court, that actual family court shit. I really wanted your address. You see me at the BET Awards. You see me by myself. Everybody at the BET Awards saw me. I don't even remember seeing this nigga. This, the illest shit is, I don't even remember like, in passing. Like, you so unimportant that I don't even remember walking past the nigga or, or anything. Shit is crazy, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm gonna fuck your shit up. Now I, now I know you. Know so much new information about you that I, I think it's fair to say um, I know you now. And everybody else will know you. Real soon. You get a chance to see some interesting shit. I know your name was Teflon. I know you were sleeping on Greg Street couch. Trying to get a deal at Swap House. I just know you're a bum. Like, a fucking bum. You know what I mean? So, you're going to really understand how resourceful I am you know and you're gonna you're gonna see what happens when someone comes from the environment and absorbs all of the new information I'm going to Venezuela today and when I get back I'm gonna finish I got a few songs that I gotta mix them in the studio with him and Dr. Dre right now and when I'm done with that I'm gonna continue Fucking your life up. And Cal is a faggot too. He's a faggot, B. I mean, he's a suckers. Suckers. I see him at the BET Award. That's funny. Like, I remember seeing Cal at, but I don't remember seeing Rick Ross at all. A nigga told me he gave me a pass. Well, don't give me no pass, man. I don't I don't deserve passes. I get, I'm a fucked up nigga. You should do something to me. You understand what I'm saying? Because niggas is send mixed messages. You know? But now that I got your address, if we go there, we'll be on your doorstep, Ricky. And we can make it, you know, the way it's supposed to be. Like, you know, hood. I know you know Noriega. The real Noriega. Oh, shit. Ricky's friend's outside. You hear him? There they go. Oh, man. Ricky's crew. He said he got a $2 million crew in New York City. And he was talking about the NYPD. I got a two million dollar team of niggas in New York. That's who you was talking about when you said you got a two million dollar crew in New York City? 
Because I don't know no niggas that fuck with you out here. You know? You was doing good. You had E class around you. You done lost that. Now what you got? <laughs> you gonna fuck with me after you get rid of the niggas that could actually have tried to help you in this situation? This is gonna be fun. <laughs>